83,000 miles, two previous owners. Really cool little Phoenix Cruiser coming in uh, here at Halet RV Brokers of Coldwater, Michigan. If you are looking for something just to hit the road, do some traveling, but not feel intimidated by a giant rig, this is the one right here. Now, anytime I see something that's not flawless, I try to point it out. We're gonna get on the roof, we're gonna get all around, but I mean, the worst I've been able to find this one, just due to some age, is there's just a couple spots of paint flake, but beyond that, it looks absolutely awesome. The tires are virtually new. We've done all the service work on it at Halet RV just down the street. Um, you know, we've fully resealed the roof. It does have a fiberglass laminated roof, but we have redone all the seals. The tires are basically new. Mechanically, she is sound as a pound. We are gonna start today with the slide closed so you can check out your travel access, which is one of the big differences between a towable and a motorized RV. Here in a motorhome, your vacation begins the moment you turn the key. So making sure that an RV is fully travel accessible like this is very, very important. And you can see that if you pull into some space and you don't even have the room to open the slide out, you can make it through the night, no sweat. There's nothing in this whatsoever that says, hey man, you gotta have the slide open. Now these windows are gonna cause me problems through the majority of the video, so I apologize if it gets a little bit that way, just the way that this camera tends to handle things. And now with the slide open, even though it's a small slide, it just feels like a whole new world in here. It opens things right up. Feel like Aladdin, sing it a Jasmine about a whole new world. Anyway, moving on from there, a little Disney reference for you. Um, everywhere they could, every little nook and cranny, whether it's inside or outside of this thing has storage space. And then uh, I like this over here, cause you know, this is just like a couple cool little chairs overlooking a window, but hidden in the middle there, is this neat little like slide open hardwood tabletop. So it's your, it's recliners, it's chairs, it's uh, seat belted seating for, for travel. Um, you've got a table there, it's your dinette. It does a little bit of everything. Now, kind of like uh, I told you about my see something, say something policy, previous owner told me about this and Lord, she was fit to be tied because this was self-inflicted. There is, there's a couple little uh, lubrication spots on the carpet right there. She was excellent about taking care of this thing. She was lubricating the slide system one day, looked up and saw, oop, the weatherman got it wrong, it's gonna rain, I better run the slide closed. But I guess everything didn't have time to set in and it dribbled a little bit on the carpet right there and stained it and she was not happy about that. So this is a uh, laminated roof structure, very similar in a lot of ways to like a bus style motor home. Um, also has that soft touch ceiling liner. I like that for a couple reasons, because one, it really blocks out the noise here, but two, if there had ever been a leak, this thing, it stains brown so easy because of the glues holding the whole roof together, and you'll never get that stain out. I've seen people try, it doesn't come out. So uh, I can tell you by looking at it, it has not had seam failures. Now kind of tucked around the corner over here is a, uh, uh, you know, the sofa, by the way, is our, our primary sleeper. And the up-down control on that is actually over here. That's our seat up-down for sleeping or seating. Generator control down there. Generator fired up in a hurry. Almost kind of startled me. 513.4 hours on it right now. And our power slide control also there. You see our little uh, privacy curtains if you want to block off the front cab area here at your destination to either keep out the, the, the sun or maybe the looky-loos. You can do that. Now the cab looks pretty simple but pretty effective and if we get over here just below the side you can see the uh, heated power mirrors down below we have the controls for our leveling system because this does have power jacks which is kind of cool and then obviously we have our rear view observation camera right here for us so that if you want to see what's going on around you going down the road or at your site kind of like a neat little security cam now it doesn't have a TV in it currently but if you are so inclined, it's got all the bracketry. Is that a word? I don't think that's a word. It is now hardware that you're gonna need. I like those power outlets on the side of that kind of hideaway recliner table there too. Um, man, I mean, everything everything in here is looking good. It's not central air, but I don't know what you're gonna need it. And frankly, I've, I just got the dash air running. When these things come in, I try to fire up the engine, turn on the dash air, the dash heat, anything that I can. 
everything has fired right up everything is fired right up like very nicely which is really really cool now this will be our primary personal storage we can open that up and see that there's a lot of big hanging storage space in there you could put some extra shelving in if you needed more dresser room but there is the one dedicated drawer down below now just on the other side here starting below the refrigerator you can see we've got some storage in there leading up to what would either be a pantry or an additional closet, I guess, kind of however you need to purpose it. You could uh, make it do a little bit of everything. And I really think the light wood tones was a smart choice in here. Now, the kitchen is small, but holy crap, is it like feature packed back in this corner. It tucks away so nicely. Like, you got the solid service counters with the flush covers there to give you some prep space. That is Corian, by the way. And up uh, here, we've got our convection microwave oven, but also that XL vent fan to keep some air moving either through the windows or exhaust the cooking heat. But if we open everything up, you can see uh, every little nook and cranny. I love that cutting board in front of the stove too. That's like extra counter space that uh, you just, you can't get elsewhere. It's awesome that they open that up every which way they possibly can. Over here in the bathroom, kind of like the kitchen. It's small, it is compact, but it does everything you need it to do very, very efficiently, really. I mean, you got, you know, your skylight for some extra headroom, although the ceiling vault definitely helps there. Naturally, we have the day-night shades you've seen on all the other windows right here in that uh, uh, bath breeze window. More solid surface counter space, and by the way, the sink both in the kitchen and here in the bathroom, they are what's called stone cast. They are rated for up to 500 degrees. So basically you can't melt them like you potentially could a plastic sink. We already saw the power step in action earlier, but this actually has one of those cool armless awnings. It is a manual crank open awning, which a lot of people get weirdly spooked about, but those things move faster, easier than like power awnings. You just, it, it's the simplest thing. I can try to describe it until you've done it in person, you don't realize, but you can have that awning in and out in a flash. It's actually kind of cool, and you don't even have to have it extended all the way if you don't want to. Slide awning helping protect that there, taking care of some extra care maintenance upkeep. We're on an E350 Ford chassis, uh, by the way. You can hear that generator chug a lugging fired right up. Like I said, it kind of startled me. Down below that, we've got our onboard propane system. And again, all new tires, basically, all the way around super, super recently. And that's inside, outside, front, and rear. And like I said, every nook and cranny, a B plus like this, it doesn't have the skirt space, especially not of a um, class A, but even a class C, because there's just less, it's, it's a smaller coach, so there's less room for nooks and crannies every little pocket they possibly possibly could they opened up and did something with now this has that kind of european body style where uh you see what the uh the body kind of curves upward and inward that actually does a really cool thing it keeps our center of gravity very low and it uh really helps this thing not be so topsy-turvy on the road if you're intimidated by driving a bigger rig this is going to be a really good fit for you because this is basically just gonna drive like a 12 passenger van Scooting up the ladder to our walkable, laminated, fiberglass capped roof. You're gonna see uh, relatively fresh seals. I think we did a full peel and seal on this, I don't know, maybe a year ago, just down the street at Haywood RV. You also see how over the kitchen um, and uh, over the uh, living room area, you have those Max Air style vent covers to give you some good anytime airflow. And there you have it, guys. I mean, uh, the, the the roof needs a little bath. That's 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 about all we got up here. That's really my message. And uh, you got a front row seat right here to our pending Halet uh, RV Broker con, uh, consignment expansion lot. We are gonna say goodbye to the old building. It served the previous owners well, but she's she's in need of some work. So we're significantly enhancing everything. We're adding uh, dual like 40 foot pull through bays so we can have more listings here and do more service for our clients. And we sure appreciate you folks uh, for your business and your continued support of our family owned and operated shop. Our inventory is a little low down here right now. We've been selling things quicker than we can find them. So if you're somewhat in the area, you have an RV that you know, you'd like us to do a full video tour and sell for you just like we're doing this one. Give us a call because Halet RV Brokers, well, we do it all, so take care. Stay safe, have fun, and happy Halet camping, everyone.